finally tonight, a native craftsman passes down an ancient art with vital lessons for the future. Here's CBS's Charlie DeMar. Wayne Vallier is a master of an ancient art. I laid all these ribs across here and marked my hand all the way across on them. No tape measures, no, no. No tape measures. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Yeah. That's what I did. He's one of only a half dozen or so master canoe builders in his Ojibwe tribe. The knowledge does not belong to me. Mm -hmm. It belongs to my people. And it's my responsibility to pass that knowledge on to the next generation. Any idea on how many canoes you've built in your lifetime? Oh, in the 30s. Valier handcrafted his latest creation in an unusual place, a hallway in the art department of Northwestern University. He was invited by the school to pass down his wisdom to students like Jordan Gurnow. Taking advantage of an elder who's willing to share his knowledge. What's it like seeing this now? Yeah, it's, it's breathtaking. I'm excited to see what she looks like out in the water. Every part of these canoes comes from the forest near Valier's tribal lands in northern Wisconsin. It starts out with chunks that we peel off the, the, the spruce trees. But okay. Oh, wow. It's awesome. Wow. We use mako bimide. This is bear grease. Bear grease. Scalding water allows him to bend the brittle cedar ribs and mold the delicate birch bark to the hull. Valier isn't just sharing the skills passed down through countless generations. He's sounding the alarm on environmental issues facing the earth, or as he calls it, his grandmother. Our grandmother is not doing so well now, and the human tribe needs to come together and realize that without clean water and without clean air to breathe, the human tribe is no longer going to live. Tradition was put to the test on a cold fall day along the shores of an angry Lake Michigan. Woo, look at take them waves. The canoe blessed by the rough waters. On board, a lesson carrying the weight of the past and a warning about the future. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Evanston, Illinois.